Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your Discord status a little more advanced other than just the plain old text. And also, this is a better alternative than the animated Discord status because the animated Discord status can get you banned, whereas this one has an almost impossible chance of getting you banned. So to start off, you need to go to the first link in the description and get better Discord. So to do that, you know, paste the link in, go into there and scroll down and you will see downloads down here. Click on Windows 7 if you're on Windows 7, Mac OS, all that other stuff. Just click on that bad boy. Once it downloads, you'll need to open it up. Once you open up, you'll see this license agreement. Now, it's basically just telling you that, you know, it's against terms of service and don't do illegal stuff, blah, 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 blah. Install better Discord. Now, I'm going to install it to my normal Discord. Click install, and it should go through all this, you know, fancy-dancy stuff, and it should restart your Discord. Now, when Discord restarts, and once it opens up, for me it opened up uh, minimized, you should see better Discord. If you don't see this, there might be an issue with your install. And the way to double check that is to just go into your settings. I'm gonna full screen this. If you scroll down and if you don't see this better Discord section here, then your better Discord did not install correctly, which is unfortunate. But if you need any help, feel free to go on my Discord. Link will be in the description and go to the help channel and I will help you out. Alrighty, now once you verify that you have the better Discord settings on Discord, you need to open the plugins folder. Now we need to download two very important plugins. The first one will be this one called Auto Start Rich Presence. Now how do we download it? All we need to do is go to the link in the description, obviously, click on the Auto Start Rich Presence.js file, right click on raw and click save link as and press save. Now, make sure there's no duplicates, like make sure this is your first time installing it, because if there are any duplicates, you might have an issue with the plugin. Now, you need to go to the third link in the description, and you will see this one called BD Plugin Library. You need to scroll down and click Download. It will do all this fancy Cloudflare downloading stuff, and it will say, oh, this can harm your computer. Do you want to keep this file? Press Keep. Uh, it can harm your computer because it's a JavaScript file, but it's not going to. Now, once that's done, all you need to do is close Chrome and open the plugins folder on better Discord, which is, I guess it's, it's still Discord, but open your plugins folder and you'll see that File Explorer starts to blink. Click on that. And now you will see this empty folder. You need to navigate to your downloads. I right click and open it in a new window and I drag it over to the left and have the plugins on the right. All you need to do is just move both of these over. So I did that by pressing control, clicking both of them and dragging them over. And once that's done, if I minimize everything, you see that, well, they popped up in Discord automatically. It's the power of better Discord, baby. All you need to do is enable Zeri's plugin library and enable auto start rich presence. Now I need to make sure that there are no settings in here. There are, mind you, there are my settings in there, but I will just quickly wipe them out but basically, when you open it up, it should be empty. And that's because you actually have to configure all the stuff. But how do you configure it? Well, you need to go to the fourth link in the description. I just have this really easy for you guys, by the way. And you will see this. Now, I already have applications, but we're going to create a new one. So to start off, make a new application. And this is the name of the software that Discord thinks you're playing. So if I go to my Discord right now, it says I am playing subscribe exclamation mark. So if I call this subscribe exclamation mark like I did before, that will show up right there. So maybe you want to change it to something else like, I don't know, playing, uh, you know, the hub or literally anything. Just change it to whatever, but that's what will show up here. You can change it just by adding a status, by the way. So if I set a custom status and just do a whole bunch of letters and I press save, it'll overwrite it. So that's completely fine. You could do that and just have it permanently as your status saying like doing something. But anywho, basically this name here is going to be what shows up here at the bolded thing. And if you don't have a status, it'll show up right there after playing. So I'm going to keep it as subscribe and press create. I'm going to maximize this window to make it easier. So the things you want to look forward, uh, look at, sorry, not look forward to, I guess you could look forward to your beautiful status, but this application ID, press copy. You need that. Make sure to press copy. Now go to rich presence and you will see art assets. Now you need to add images that you want. If I go back to my status real quick, you see that I have two images. I have my logo and then I have a picture of MATLAB. 
for some odd reason. But anywho, uh, you can do this yourself. And how do you do that? Well, you need to upload both of the images. So add images, and I'm going to add my logo. And oh, hold on. Your minimum size is 512 by 512. So make sure you follow the constraints of the files. So I'm going to delete that. Add image, I'm going to do resize logo. And I'm going to add the MATLAB logo. And I'm going to make it so there's no underscore there. It's completely fine. It's just because I have it set up another way. But anywho, press save changes. Now here is the little bit of the pain in the rear. Uh, basically, if you refresh, your pictures disappear. And that's because Discord needs to process each one of your images and just make sure they're not like, you know, anything uh, crazy or anything. So I am prepared, or maybe I just messed up twice, and I'm going to go to my already uploaded application. So I open it up, and I go to Rich Presence, and you see I have my MATLAB logo and my resized logo. So now I need to, first off, I'm gonna add a cover image. So select image, add your resized logo, and once again, it might take a little bit to update, but it really, this part really doesn't matter, to be completely honest. I just add it because it's easier for me to memorize exactly what I'm doing for each one of these rich presences. So next up, open up Visualizer, and you see all of these configuration things that you can mess around with. So to start off, it says playing a game, subscribe. So that's the name of the application. Then it says competitive, playing solo, one of five, and the time left. So how do you modify all these? Well, to the left, you see it says state playing solo. So if you change playing solo to something, it will update automatically. So I'm going to do having fun. Wow, look, it already autofills for me. And you see that it dynamically updates. So feel free to configure all this to whatever you want. Uh, please subscribe. And just, yeah, literally it's just change it to whatever. But the main important things that you need to do is this large image key, you need to select it and select your logo that you want. So you could have your, you know, your actual logo, or you could mess up and put the MATLAB one in. So just make sure to select your image that you want. And if you are going to have a second image, which I really don't think a second image looks good, but I'm gonna show you anyways, just click on this and add your second image. Oh, wrong one. And you will see that now it shows up here. Now you can make it so that if you hover over the image, it'll say something. It starts off default saying Numbani. Just change it to literally anything. Yeah, so literally anything, I set it for that one. And then for the small one, you could change it to like something. And I can barely type. But anywho, once you hover over it, you'll see that it says literally anything. Hover over this, it'll say something. And there's party ID. Now, honestly, just ignore this. And there's this party size thing. Just, whoop, just delete it. And you won't have to deal with it. But you could have it like something funny, like, oh goodness, watch this. Four out of 20, uh He's hilarious. Anywho, you could do that if you want, or you could just delete it and make it look nice and clean. Now this time that it says, you know, time left or whatever, you can actually remove this, surprisingly, and I will show you how to do that later. But anywho, once you have it configured exactly how you want it, drag it to the left, go back into your Discord settings, go to your plugins, and press on the settings menu for auto start rich presence. And once you open it up, you need to copy and paste all of these things over. But remember when I told you to copy that one thing at the very start, you now need to paste it in. Now, I am a little concerned whether or not I got the correct application. And let's say you forgot uh, to copy it. Just go back to general information, copy it, paste it. Oh, it was a different one. See, that would have been oh very disappointing and very sad. Go to visualizer. And now you copy over everything. So this says details, this says details, copy that over. This says state, that says state, copy it over. Large image key, you can't copy it over, you have to type it out, so resize logo. And large image text, you could just copy that over. And then small image, te te small image key, goodness, MATLAB logo, and then small image text, copy, paste. Now that start time thing I was talking about, you can enable it if you want, or you could disable it. I like it disabled. Now, this is the best part of this whole entire thing. You could actually have buttons that people can click to do certain things. So for example, who would have thought I was gonna do this? Subscribe exclamation mark. And the URL I'm gonna set it as is surprisingly my YouTube sub URL. Now you can have two buttons. I'm gonna say test button. And 
if you try doing something like www dot uh, like uh, po uh, uh, facebook dot com or whatever, that might not work. You need to include the HTTPS. So just make sure it's in the format that it's supposed to be. Now, once that's done, click done. Now, make sure there's one more setting you have to make sure you enable. You have to go to game settings and game activity, and you need to enable it. If you don't have this enabled, nothing will work, and you'll be extremely frustrated, like I was, for about three minutes until I realized I was extremely dumb. So, once you're done that, close off escape, and you say, playing subscribe. It says, please subscribe to me channel. Wait, hold on. This isn't the correct one. And it's not the correct one because sometimes you might have some overlay. So if you're changing it, you might still see the old one. Just press Control R. Discord will reload. And it will load everything. You'll see the Zeri's plugin change log. Just press X on it. And oh, playing subscribe. Drum roll. The two buttons. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Having fun. Now, if I press on the subscribe button, wait, nothing happened. Well, believe it or not, it's just bugged for some odd reason. If you try pressing subscribe on this, nothing will happen for you. But for anyone who is unfortunate enough to press your button, so this is on my alt account, I press my status and I press subscribe and, oh, hold up, it's going to take me to the link. And you press yes and kaboom. Now I can say whether or not I want to subscribe. Now I would, but I don't have a YouTube account. And that's how you have a rich Discord presence status that is customized to however you want that is way better than these animated statuses. And one last thing, if you've decided that you don't want a rich Discord presence status thingy do anymore, just go to user settings, go down to your plugins, and turn off the auto start rich presence, press escape, and you see it disappeared. Now, if you don't want better Discord anymore, all you need to do is go back to your downloads, open up the better Discord installer. It takes a little bit to start. Just give it some time. Big vehicle went right by, Zoomer Man. All you need to do is just click uninstall better Discord and click on the version that you installed it to. Click uninstall. Once it uninstalls and you open up Discord, you might click user settings and you might still have better Discord. And that's because you might need to actually restart your Discord real quick. So the easiest way I found of doing it is just control shift escape to open up task manager. Make sure Discord's open. Then click on Discord, click end task. Then open up Discord again. It'll restart and hopefully get rid of all that nasty better Discord stuff. You know, assuming you'd probably think it's nasty because you're uninstalling it. And once you want to install it and press the settings, you will see Better Discord is now officially gone. In any case, hope you have fun. If you have any really, really, really cool statuses, feel free to whoop, boom, join the server and, I don't know, let me know because I want to see it. That was like way too gangster for me. I'm, I'm kind of like a loser. Anywho, goodbye. Mwah.